Hello, Oz Dusselet here with Datascopic, and I'm going to build a bit of a solution here. Uh, it's dynamic, um, just kind of expanded on a very simple notion. And we're going to use indirect VLOOKUP dependent drop down list, tables, VBA, a very little bit of that. And thanks to Jordan Goldmeyer for his help with the code. So anyway, I am Oz with Datascopic, and let's look at the challenge. All right. <clears throat> so we have Bahia, Gustavo, Phoenix, Paulette, their quotas. So we're using VLOOKUP to pull over these quotas, right? So we've got let's say Phoenix and here is a problem that we're looking at is Gustavo Phoenix there is no Gustavo in Phoenix and the error bombed out because right it went to Phoenix and looked for Gustavo and there is no Gustavo so that's what VLOOKUP does alright we would like for something else to happen rather than this mismatch sit here and this error sit here like this. Let's look over here and <clears throat> we have Den Brunez, Bahia Paulo. Alright, so now what happens when we change? Say London. That empties out. That's better than having the mismatch and the error sitting there. Alright, so let's look at the VBA code that allows this change to happen. And thanks to Jordan for this. All right, I'm not going to get into the details of it, but basically, if there is a change in this range, then it goes zero rows up or down, and it goes one column to the right and empties that value out. So it's very simple code that allows us to have this do something useful other than sit there with a mismatch. All right, so one other thing that might help is if we could easily add a new table if there's a new office somewhere how can we easily add a new one all right and let's look at okay so we've got London right and this is coming from the offices table right that's what this says and let's look at offices the offices table is right here right then here, this is looking at the indirect of B2. Right, this begins to look for the London table. Right, and then that finds our list of people. So let's look at London. There we go. Right, and Our quota is pulled by using a VLOOKUP. Well, that's simple enough, right? But in order to find the London table, I have named the Lon every city name with a T at the end, right? So indirect B2 and T. That means look for London T, Bahia T, Paris T. So let's check this out. Let's look at London T. Right, that's the London table. The Melbourne table. All right, so that allows the quotas to come no matter which, you know, which uh, rep or office we have. So let's do this. Let's add a boo test, right? And say both 
folder and we've got and Jolana. All right, and say their quotas are twenty seven percent, eighty eight percent, fifty one percent. 112% and 77%. Okay, now a lot more people should use tables because tables are what glues this whole document together, right? We can do this from this range, but as soon as we add a new person, then we've got a problem, right? Because the range isn't dynamic unless we do something else. All right, so let's go ahead, insert table. All right, the table has headers. Okay, great. Now we want to name this Budapest. Okay, and I want to name this table Budapest T. Okay, and we need to put Budapest in the offices. Budapest Attila. All right, there we go. It's dynamic. Everything hangs together. It was easy to add a new office, a new table, as long as we name everything the right way, you know, and tell Excel what to look for. All right, so I am not going to go into too much more detail um, because I am working on a blog post. And I will make this document available once the blog post is done. But let's quickly go over again what we were dealing with. We're dealing with an issue where you have a mismatch. And this error bombs out and we wanted something else to happen, something useful. Right? So we use a little VBA code and with the help of Jordan Goldenmeyer, we do have that, all right, and we can change this, empties that out, the new person with accurate data, Carla in Melbourne. There we go, 71%. And the VLOOKUP is, it has the error handling, right, so that we don't have the error bomb out. We say, you know, just be an empty cell. And our lookup range is the name of the table with a T at the end. And that's our trick. So thanks a lot. This is really brief. And we weaved some really cool things together. Thanks a lot. Again, I am Oz Du Soleil. And look for the blog post. And you can download this spreadsheet here pretty soon. And please ask me any questions, send in emails, let me know some things that you might want to know about. Thanks a lot.